you know I was I was just thinking if there is a war between China Russia versus the United States of America United States will lose that war America would be defeated there's an old saying that says united we stand but divided we fall and America is extremely divided but before I continue I want to invite you guys to click on the link in the description box of my WordPress page and follow me there just in case YouTube decide to remove these videos I'm going to also post these videos or certain videos on WordPress so in case YouTube decide to remove them off of their platform I would have it on my own now if China and Russia unite against the United States and I hope you guys do realize that if China and Russia unites it's not just going to be China and Russia that's uniting against America because America have a whole lot of enemies and many of the enemies of America are right behind American lines especially with the open borders a lot of the so-called allies of America are also enemies of America America is just being used by those so-called allies so if there is a war between America versus Russia and China America Great Babylon will fall like I said united we stand but divided we fall and this is a divided nation Biden and I'm not really going to blame Biden because Biden is no more than a puppet. He's only the face of what's really going on behind the scenes. Now there are some that seem to believe that Barack Obama is the one that's really calling the shots because if you look at the way the economy is today, it reminds you of when Barack Obama was in office and of course he does not want Biden to outdo him as president so I really don't think that Obama if he is in fact the one that's given or calling the shots I really don't think Barack Obama would really want Joe Biden to succeed or outdo him I really don't think he wants that and Biden had just introduced a new office of gun control now they're doing too much when it comes to gun control and like I mentioned in that past video once they disarm American citizens they're not really concerned about the criminals because this administration is corrupt Joe Biden and the Democrats and many of the Republicans the rhinos are corrupt and that's why we really don't see the so-called Republicans or GOP really doing anything to stop the madness that's going on because it's corrupt at every level of the government so when they disarm American citizens then they're able to really gain complete control over the people because now the people have no way 
to defend themselves. They have no way of protecting themselves or even fighting back so they can do anything that they want to do just like they're doing now with the open borders, releasing criminals from prison, and they're light on crime. Look at what's happening around this nation, not just California or New York or, or, or Chicago, but look at what's happening around this nation. Look at what's happening in Florida. And it's mind blowing because they got the American people's minds so confused that most of America really can't tell the difference between right and wrong. Most of American people cannot really see the true enemy. When they're calling allies foes and foes, enemies, which are enemies, they're looking at them as allies and they're praising this demonic system while cursing the Most High and promoting Satanism. But they have no idea of the destruction and judgment that they're bringing upon themselves. See, the devil has already shown his face. We see his true colors. It's out in the open. And with all of this negative and evil propaganda that's being spewed through the media, and people are believing it. There's only a very few people that can really see what's going on. And most of those people are foreigners. I was speaking to this guy from the Ukraine today. And he was talking about what happened with the so-called Jews and with Stalin and how Stalin was able to do what they did. And he said, now, Outsiders are able to recognize what Americans can't. And he was saying that they actually see the same steps that were taken is happening today. This is what Joe Biden and the Democrats and those that's working behind the scenes are doing to the American people. But the American people can't see it because the American people are spoiled, are bewitched, you're under a trance or some type of spell. And I always give reference back to those so-called witches that were in Manhattan and that were offering up sacrifices and burning sage against Donald Trump. But what they fail to realize that those curses went far beyond Trump and we're starting to see the results and I'm not giving credit solely to them, but they are a part of including the voters, the Democrats, and those that support the demon crap movement. All are a part of the problems that people are facing today. And even though you're suffering, even though you're paying high gas prices, and although you're paying high prices for food, and just to be able to live, you still support the beast. You're still singing praises to the beast. So what we see that's occurring today is all a part of great Babylon falling. The Bible says Babylon is falling, is falling. And I spoke in the past of the scripture that talked about how it has become a habitation of devils. 
and the whole of every foul spirit and creeping things. That's what the book was referring to. And things are not going to get better, but they are going to get worse. See, you have to understand, like I mentioned in the prior video, you have to understand that the president of Ukraine, Ukraine was at one time a part of the Soviet Union. They're of the same bloodline. They're the same people. So when you see Biden sending all of the taxpayer dollars to Ukraine, allegedly to fight Russia, which is no more than a part of Russia, which is Ukraine. You're energizing the beast because like I mentioned, and this is my belief or my thought that Zelensky is going to be a target. He is now a mark, but America has to get what it wants first and after it's finished using Zelensky. Then Zelensky have to be targeted or deleted. Because Zelensky's got information on the United States, especially Joe Biden and the Democrats. They can't leave that loose end loose. So they have to get rid of him. And I would not be surprised if we hear about some type of incoming and Zelensky is caught in the mix of that. And then they blame it on Russia. On one of Russia's shells. So don't be surprised if Zelensky happens to get caught up in an air raid. So, but what we see that's happening is Babylon the Great. This is the end or close to the end of America because America is so divided and once they're able to disarm American citizens because think about it the United States military is weak and I know there's a lot of people that love to say that the United States military is the greatest military in the world but right now, the United States military has been compromised. Every level of the government, including the military, have been compromised. So the United States military is not as strong as you think. The minute Joe Biden got into office, he started reversing everything that Trump did including leaving weaponry, brand new weaponry, advanced weaponry on the enemy's territory. So the military is weakened, the borders are wide open, and we have terrorists, sleeping terror cells, the enemies of America crossing the border. Biden is giving them access to vehicles with these driving privileges. He's given them access to job, to corporations. Now they're working side by side. And there are so many that's coming from other nations that are now in the medical field. They're medical students, foreigners. So it would not be a difficult thing to prescribe the wrong medication to American citizens. So this nation is in trouble. 
And those that's in power, they are fully aware of what's being done because the things that they are targeting is not the security of this nation, but they're targeting the things that will even weaken this nation even more so that the American people have no way to defend themselves. So when you have Americans cheering and applauding this office of gun control and Biden start naming the ammunition and the, look at what's going on with the ammunition right here in New York State with Holcho. She's been quiet for a while and now they're offering another jab. They're talking about um, another pandemic especially around election time, lockdowns, and people are falling in line. It's sad because people are so easily to fall in line when given an order. Where are the true rebels? Because everybody's afraid. Everybody's got their face planted in a cell phone social media. You're so bewitched and mesmerized that you can't see your own destruction. And on my dream channel, I talked about the destruction. I've talked about the nuclear blast that I've seen in visions and how people had to leave their homes. And we can only take a certain amount of belongings with us. So it's just a matter of time because right now you have, I don't know how many millions of illegal immigrants that's behind enemy lines right now. And they claim that they are seeking shelter from war-torn countries. But the people that's fleeing are mostly men. So make sense of that. So if there's a war between America versus China and Russia, the United States will lose because once they disarm American citizens, the only prop that America really have left. The only strength that America really have left is the fact that so many Americans are armed with firearms. America is armed and so it's their mission, it's their goal to disarm Americans. And if you're for gun control, and they're going to use fear. They're going to use fear to get you to give up your rights. They want you to willfully hand them your rights to not be able to defend yourself. And it's already been documented that some illegal immigrants are now breaking in people's businesses, in their homes, or on their property, that's raping and killing Americans. And the only thing this government can do is continue to feed the beast, making it stronger and stronger, while America is becoming weaker and weaker. And once they take away your gun rights, and this is where American citizens need to stand up and fight back. Once they take away your right to defend yourself, if they outlaw it, and of course, legal citizens are going to abide by the law. See, they know who's going to follow the law and those who aren't. 
And once they once they disarm you, then those sleeping terror cells that I spoke on will be activated. And how would you be able to stand? Will you be able to stand? So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash App, support this channel, and go to WordPress and follow me there so that you can receive updates so when YouTube remove this video, if they remove it, it will still be live on WordPress. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.